Ben is a man whose life and values aren't driven by Boosfield toga parties at university, like his father, or playing the single field. In short, he's a man who's driven by logic, thoughtfulness, ethics, caring, kindness, good humor, and thoughtlessness. Growing up, he has always been respected by the peers he had around him, at school, in the hockey dressing room, in 4-H, and even at bush parties. It didn't matter. When he spoke, people listened. You're one of the best people I've had the honor to know. It makes me immensely proud, and Maddie is tr so truly fortunate to have found and kept you. Don't ever change, but grow together. <sighs> what a twit. <laughs> With your wonderful new bride. And have lots of babies we can spoil. Now, as it turns out, Ben's a nice counterforce to Maddie's boundless energy and impulsivity. He's the Mo to Maddie's Curly, the Abbott to her Costello, the Jay-Z to her Beyonce Z, the Ricky to Maddie's Lucy, the Julian to Maddie's Ricky, and the Morty to Maddie's Rick. I love my boys, but I gotta say, I'm thrilled to have a well-mannered, <laughs> helpful, respectful, somebody who clears the table without being asked, son in my life now. <laughs> Maddie, we love you more than words can say. You are the most supportive, thoughtful, and genuine best friend we could have ever asked for. You have a unique and wonderful ability to make lifelong connections in all of your relationships. You have a talent for creating friendships and love in everyone around you. You've demonstrated this in your relationship with Ben and with all of the friendships with the people you, who have gathered here today to watch you continue your journey together. Maddie, if I can just take a minute to think back to our first introduction. At our home here, I came around the corner and there you were, looking beautiful, with a smile and an enduring positive presence. I think your first words were, wow, you're short. <laughs> I think I said, wow, you're tall. <laughs> but they should have been, wow, you are wonderful. You have been many things to each other. Classmates, friends, lovers, adventurers, and even teachers. You have learned much from each other. So we will now say a few words from your hearts, and these words will take you across the threshold of marriage. I wanted to tell a story that explains why I love you so much, but I don't think I can. The problem is, Every time I think of a great moment with you, where you prove your kindness, courage, passion, beauty, intelligence, or humor, it reminds me of another amazing memory you have given me. We would be here all day if I recounted every example of you behaving selflessly to help a friend, pushing me out of my comfort zone, or talking intelligently and thoughtfully with me. You are stunningly beautiful and my best friend. I am beyond fortunate to get to spend the rest of my life loving you and enjoying your love. Becoming your wife is the most important decision I have ever had to make, but it has also been the easiest. Growing up with you has been a gift, 
We've seen each other through our highest highs and our lowest lows. We have supported each other through the hardest times, but we've also been there to celebrate our biggest successes. I feel that I'm stating the obvious to everyone here when I say this, but Ben, you have the kindest heart, and I don't know anyone who is more genuine and honest than you. <laughs> everyone around you admires your integrity, and it's because of your integrity that I know that you're telling the truth. When you call me beautiful every single day, when you tell me I'm your best friend. And when you say you love me.